Let's move on to the third standard attack that you will get in Aikido. That attack is called Shomenuchi. If you recall from Yokomenuchi, men head uchi strike. Sho, straight. So, straight off head or top off head strike. Depending on how you've hung up your dummy, if you made one, be careful. You don't want to injure yourself on, for example, the steel part of a squat rack. So you have to imagine there's a head here. You are aiming for the top of the head. That's where you enter the body. Your target is past the groin. Straight up, all the way down and out. Again, this comes from the sword concept. You don't want to leave your sword in the guy because what happens is you go slice and then it's stuck in him. And that's really inconvenient on a battlefield or in fact, anywhere. So you've got this corpse hanging onto your sword and you've got to kind of put a foot up and pull it out. And by that time, someone's knifed you or shot you or stabbed you or speared you or something bad has happened to you. So you cut here all the way down and out. Now, because of my previous safety note, that this is the top of a squat rack, I am not going to hit this, but I'll demonstrate to the side. Raise, enter, strike. The enter and the strike happen at the same time. Get the idea? Practice those three. So, question, why would we use such ludicrous attacks? People don't attack you like that. That's a good question. Why do we use such ludicrous attacks? Because of what the attacks are intending to do. So, the purpose of the attacks that we're using is not to learn to defend against an attack. It's not to learn to defend against that specific attack. You are learning to defend against the attack direction. There are realistically only three directions an attack can come from. Straight, horizontal, and vertical. Anything else is a variation of those three. That's it. You've got thrusting energy, horizontal energy, and vertical energy. It's easier to learn to deal with three specific directions rather than all the different types of attack you could think of. There are, mm, I don't know, let's call it thousands. There are thousands of different attacks across all the martial arts, but they all have to follow those three vectors. What's easier to, to learn to defend against? So for what we're doing, it's sensible and adequate to use these three specific attacks. So, to demonstrate that a little, our front punch here, okay, there's no difference between the directionality of that and a jab cross. There just isn't. Yes, there were two attacks there, but they both went straight, straight. If you threw in, for example, a jab cross teep, they're all still straight energy. Okay, a teak kick, boom. still straight energy. Yokomanuchi, the side strike. The arc, the curve on that is the same as your hook. Right? It's actually slightly more involved because when you're hook punch, you're transferring your weight. Curved energy along this plane, same here. There's no difference. The showman, vertical. There's no difference between that or for example, here, 
I am not warmed up enough to do it, but an axe kick falls into the same category. Comes right up, straight down. We're dealing with the same energy vectors. We're just not bothering with all the fancy attacking parts of them. So we can concentrate on the more defensive parts of them. One other reason for this, and this is a historical reason that may apply, is that when Osensei, the founder of Aikido, first set up and started doing it, it was brand new. Nobody came to him without having prior martial arts experience, so almost all of the original students already knew striking. Therefore, you didn't need to teach them striking, so they went with these. How much truth there is to that, I don't know, but it's a valid theory. I could pick holes in it, but I'm not going to. So that's why we have those three attacks. As stupid as they may seem, they are more than adequate for the purposes we need.